Good morning. morning. Today we are at Alden. Now, yes. the ship did actually get here a little bit earlier than we thought, so we have actually missed sailing. It's fine. We'll it's see fine. Out. Don't panic if that happens to you, because you will have to sail back out of the fjord again, won't you? So this morning we're off for breakfast. Yeah. And after that we've got to be off the ship about nine nine thirty. Yeah. And we've got to get the bus to the Brixton Glacier. And then this afternoon we have look at this, people. Have a look at this. Woo. We have the Oasis Spa. It's gonna be fun. Let's go. Let's get this day on the go. <laughs> Let's go. Hi everyone. Welcome to episode four of our Piano Iona Norwegian Fjords Cruise Series. Yeah, I've got my coat in there. Yeah, it'd be, be hot enough. Um, we're going to go to the buffet now, aren't we? To the buffet. Let's get some fruit and some yogurt, I remember. And then so we can stick our head outside. Ta-da! Washi washi. What are you going to go for today, Gav? I think I'm just going to find some fruit and yogurt if they've got any. Oh, there's the yoghurt and the fruit over there. Get all of those. So I got my breakfast. I want some fruit, I have, and Gavin. I got some fry up. He's gone for bacon roll. Are you making a butty? Yeah. Yes. He's making a little butty. That's like Welsh slang for like a breakfast roll, isn't it? Breakfast roll, yeah. Enjoying it? You look like you're enjoying it. Mine's really, really, really nice. And we're by the window, let's. We'll go outside in a sec. We'll stick our heads out there. We'll have a look at the scenery. We just have our breakfast, and, and now good. we're outside. We're on the we're on the top by the um, infinity pool. That's the infinity pool. Panoramas up there, and yeah, we're just looking at the scenery. Look at this. Look at that. Yeah, I love it. I love it when there's clouds up there like that. It makes it look really like mystical yes. and epic and magical. It's awesome. So what we're going to do now is go have a quick stroll around. We're going to walk across the top deck, yep. take the lift straight down, and then we're going to get on our trip. This is amazing, isn't it? So we're on the jogging track now, aren't we? Yes. Look. A nice little stroll. We're off. Oh, that was handy. We were in this queue, like the queue was going all the way up there. Um, and we thought, oh no. And then the lady just said, are you Brookstill Glacier for 9.30? And she took us out of the queue and we went straight through, didn't we? So yeah, now we, we have to cross over here to the petrol station and find a double-decker silver bus, don't we? So this is where we get our bus now, from here. Yeah. We're on the bus. He's putting all his personal effects into a sandwich bag. <laughs> oh, so we have a rainy window. So sorry, people, you can't see. This pretty much sums up our experience of Norway this time. Wet. This was our fourth time visiting Alden, but the first time we'd managed to do the Brixdale Glacier excursion. In the past, we've done the train ride and the open top bus. Both of these trips take you along some of this route. Even so, you don't get fed up with this spectacular landscape. Oh, in a tunnel. So we are here, we've just got off the bus and now we're ready to go on our walk. We've got about, well they said 45 minute walk up to the glacier, we're going to see if we can beat yeah. that aren't we? We've got two hours to spend here anyway, yeah. so we've got plenty of time. But well, you should just see it, the scenery is spectacular. Yeah. See look at this. I love Norway, you have to come here, you have to. It's just amazing, just look at it, I love it. I'm, I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing I am. So look, we've been to Olden a few times, we've never been here, it's just Look at it. You just see it's so small. It's so like 
wow. scale of it, when you're actually studio, I bet it looks nothing on camera. When you're here, it's just like epic. And even the, like, the journey here was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think that is the glacier, people. Look at it, you can see it shining in the sun, can't you? The ice. This really is amazing. Look at it. Are you having a fun time? I'm Look at it. <laughs> oh, that's good. I well, know we have to go on that bridge in a minute. Ah, oh, the shower. Gavin, you're getting wet from the waterfall. The walk from the bus to the glacier takes around 45 minutes. We were going to try and beat this time, but found the scenery too much of a distraction. Do a sign in the back end of the waterfall. We were just saying, we think that that rock there, that one, looks a bit phallic, doesn't it? Moss on the rocks, isn't it pretty? It's like a mystical woods, isn't it? Whew, get in there. Oh, so nice. It really is. We've had a ball today. So we are here. Look at that. Look at that. It is quite touristy, but you'd expect that, wouldn't you? Yeah. But it's amazing. Like, when you actually see it in real life, it's just incredible. It really is. It's awesome. I think it's gone back there as well. But the yeah, sign is way up the There was a sign and it said like where it was in 1910 and where it is now. So, yeah, it's receded quite a lot. It's impressive though. It really, really is amazing. Really, really nice little walk. It's been lovely really actually impressive. to go for a walk, and the scenery has just been so breathtaking. I can't believe we've not done sooner. Now all I know. Done. So, we highly recommend doing this, people. Yes. We booked it independently through Old Adventure, and it was about £37 per person. Yeah. We'll, was... put, we'll put details in the description. So, yes, now we've seen the glacier, it's absolutely awesome. We're going to have to head back down. Oh, yes. We're going to dash back down then to well, the ship. One hour, an hour and a bit to get back yeah, down. Yeah, we just took a nice stroll down. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Just stopped for a quick uh, photo stop at the river, the stream. It was awesome. Let's carry on. Going down is a lot easier than coming up. <laughs> All that power walking. <laughs> now we're coming up to the, the big waterfall, aren't we? Yes. Well, it won't be long. Oh, look, there's more coming there, look. Little troll cars. Here we are, we're back at the waterfall. You just rumble there. You can hear it, can't you? Like the roar. And we just seen the trial cars, they went past, we had to stop them to all go, didn't we? We're 
getting covered in spray, aren't we? Quite it's cool nice. As well. It's nice and fresh. After doing a hike, it's really, really nice, isn't it? It's refreshing. Here comes the wet part. Ah, I'm soaking. Ah, ah. So we have pretty much finished. We are now back to the bus, sort of where the bus pickup point is and the shop and all, aren't we? Yes, we've got all the on the shop. Now. So in fairness, that walk did not take us long at all. It was very easy to do, wasn't it? I mean, um, for, for us, for it. us, um, yeah, it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't as hard as say Andal snares, no. was it? No, if, if you got walking problems, definitely take the troll cars, I'd say. Yeah, take the, take the troll cars, yeah. But I mean, other than that, I definitely recommend doing this. Definitely. It's been fantastic. It's been a good day out. It's nice to get a bit of exercise. Yes, definitely. And it's lovely. And like the weather's turned out really nice today. So we're really lucky there. And we were just saying like you could smell like flowers. We were trying to work it out. And then we were just walking down here now. We could see like these bees all around this flower. Like, if you've not been to Norway, I know I keep raving on about it, but you have to come. You have to do it. It's just awesome, isn't it? Yep. So we had a little look in the shop, didn't we? Gavin needs something. We didn't buy anything there. It's quite expensive. We Anyway. Yeah, Gavin wants to go, and oh, I want to take some pictures in front of the ship, so we're going to do that anyway. So we'll have a look at the shops by the ship. Um, so we're just waiting for our bus now. So what time did we come today, Gav? Half nine we left. Half we nine we... About ten past ten. Yeah. Past ten. And it's now about twelve o'clock midday. Ten past midday, yeah. Ten past midday. And it's extremely busy now, people. So, if you can, come up here early, early is what early I'd ones. say. Because look at the car park, it's choppy. You can't even see, there's full of buses. There's loads. So yeah, definitely come up here early. First thing, these people here now, I think they're waiting to get on the troll cars. Yeah, if you haven't booked the troll cars, yeah. the first available one was 3 o'clock this afternoon, and that was as we were coming down. Oh, so, yeah, so you have to book them. them if you need them, book the troll cars. So we're back on the bus. We're sitting on the same side as we were on the way up, because then this time we'll see the stuff we couldn't see last time. Does that make sense? Yeah. We're off, Gav. We're off. The transfer between the ship and the glacier only takes around half an hour. However, it seems much quicker than this with all these breathtaking views. We're back and our ship is there. So Gavin just wants to go and get some postcards now, don't you? Postcards. And then we want to take some pictures in front of the ship over there, don't we? We always do that. Yeah, we do. You just have to do it. There's the trolls. Here's the shop. You can get flags as well, look. And they got mugs. They must do postcards in here, probably. They will, won't they? So Gavin's found his postcards. And we're just looking. They got really cool in there. Like they got Iona. And it's awesome. It's perfect. So Gavin got his postcards. Only Sam. They're all sorted. So now we're just going to go take our pictures, now, aren't we? We were just saying, I don't think I've ever seen it this busy here. It goes to show how big Iona is, though, doesn't it, really? And how many people are actually on that ship. So, in case you don't know, the ship's here. And the cable car, the Lone Skylift, it's just there somewhere the, behind the clouds. So if it's a very cloudy day, it's not worth doing because you won't see anything. You'll go up and you'll just see clouds, there'll be nothing below. If you've got broken cloud, like now, they'll probably pass. So it'd make it good, broken, yeah. It? And it's good if you do like time lapses because then it looks really, really good, doesn't it, with the, the clouds rolling across. There she is, there's our ship. We love coming here, it's one of the best photo spots ever because we always yeah. come we always come here to the little hut we do and we always stand by the hut like this and then we take the pictures. Mm. So we've 
we've had an, another amazing day in Alden. It's yes. awesome. Norway is just, it is, is fantastic. That's and why now, we keep coming back, isn't yeah. it? You love it so much. People say, oh, you're going back to Norway again. Yeah, because it's brilliant. Anyhow, what's going to happen now is we're going to board the ship and then we're going to go up to the retreat. See the ships there when the retreat is just at the top up there. Oh, we're looking forward to this. It's a hot tub, they do snacks, they do nice fun. comfy lounges. It's going to be awesome. So, yeah. So, we're all changed. We've got our shorts. Look, Gavin's got shorts on. We're off to the retreat. Yeah, look, show the people, show the people. The little passes for it. These are our, our exclusive cards. So, they tap the door and it lets us in. So we'll see how it works now, shall we? Let's go, let's I hope, go. I hope there's a waiter up there because I need a drink. Yeah, I do need, I need a nice cup of tea, I do. This doesn't look like the retreat. We're going to look at the secret stairs. We'll go up there and we'll be outside the door. We're going to the secret stairs. The retreat is an exclusive open deck area found up on deck 18. We pre-booked a day pass here for a cost of £40 per person and we were really looking forward to unwinding up here. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the retreat. A little nice cup of tea. Green tea, I am. Green tea? It's just showered, but I think it stops. So We're undercover anyway, we are. We've got these lovely comfy beds. Yes. They give you bathrobes as well, don't Yeah, they? and you've got towels, and then you've got these lovely blankets. It's nice up here, though. It's lovely. And there's a hot tub over there, and another one on the other side. The other side is empty, so I'm hoping I'll get in there now after this. Here we and go. Relax. And it's perfect today to all the scenery, and we? It's lovely. It's lovely. It really is nice. And it'll be perfect now for when we sail away because we can see it all. We can wave over there through the window with the hand. Yep. And we can watch it as we sail out. It's we'll be good. Hot tub, can't we? Can perfect. Haha, <laughs> I have a hot tub. I have a hot tub to myself and I got the scenery to look at. Oh, yes. This is perfect. Hot tub all to myself. <clears throat> and you can see the people over there. They are kayaking. I don't know if you can see, yeah, maybe they're, they're like little specks they are compared to this beast of a ship. Oh, so nice though. Just gonna sit here for a bit now and relax. And this oh, scenery spectacular as well. Nice. You look relaxed. It's lovely though, isn't it? Especially with like this in the background, it's awesome. So I was just in the hot tub, wasn't I? And I was walking back through and I saw they were doing afternoon tea and they put them in these like little lunch boxes now. So Gavin is gonna open it. Let's see what's inside. There's like a little scone, a little chocolate cake, some jam, some cream, happy. And you've asked the man to get Prosecco, haven't you? <clears throat> I'm being good though, look, I'm drinking green tea here. Yeah? You've ordered Prosecco. Yeah, two. One for you and one for me. We've moved seats, haven't we? Yeah. Because the other people left, so now we have even better view, don't we? It's awesome. Oh, you should see what I'm saying. It's lovely. You can see everything. We can even see the bow of the ship and all now. So it's going to be perfect for sailing, isn't it? And we've been drinking the wine, haven't we? The wines. We're on the, what are we on? Malbec. Which is very nice, actually. Very nice. Look very comfortable, there, Gavin. I want my blankets. <laughs> he's, he's wrapped up like a cooked chicken. <laughs> Gavin has a hand. Gavin has a hand. 
See if they see us, they might see us. So we, we've got some we've got some competition here, people. Look, look, look. There's people in the in the house over there. See that red house? They have yellow hands. They're fun. They're our kind of people, aren't they? So we have just left Alden. We are by the windows. Look, the front of the ship. And we're looking at the fjords. It's absolutely amazing, isn't it? And we got the camera going. We're doing like a little time lapse. We are. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but we'll, we will see, we will see. And there was an Ada ship in front of us, wasn't there? It left. I, I didn't even know it was here today. It must have come out of that. Like over there, there's another like little fjord. So it must have come from there. <laughs> We've had loads of fun today. It's been, it's been a really good day. It's like our fourth time coming to Norway. And this is fantastic. I do. I know you can see the flags up there, the mast, the Norwegian flag. Oh, it's pure bliss. I'm love, I am loving life. So yes, you should definitely book to come to the fjords before. back we are back in our room so we're gonna charge the phones we're gonna have a quick shower aren't we yep. and we're just admiring this lovely scenery outside of our window look at this people look at this oh we are back we are back we had an absolutely lovely afternoon in the in that up at the retreat was no, oh so it's nice been a lovely day the whole, whole day, day yeah, the whole day's been nice but the afternoon was really relaxed so relaxed gavin even fell asleep so what's going to happen now folks we are going to go to the beach, beach house. house and we haven't been here for years like literally the last time we went About to beach house was ago. on piano azura we went to spain and france so we're going to give this a whirl we're trying some new things on this cruise i hope you've noticed we're purposely doing it yep. all for the purposes of research all especially for you so yes tonight we're going to the beach house so let's see what it's like and after that We've also got the... We're going to go and see the crows and the bears and the pigeons and the flying around on the roof. Up at rise. The top, the rise, the show, it. the show up in the Sky Dome. Because we look, we're really enjoying the Sky Dome, you know. Yeah, nice. Really enjoying really? it. So, and, yes, yeah, there's, loads, there's loads going on. So stay tuned, stay tuned, because you will see. You will see. Beach House, oddly enough, is in the buffet, just like Chef's Table. Is it the same place? Yes. So, ta da! We are at the beach house. This literally, we've walked in, we were like, oh, we don't really know what we want to eat tonight. We had a peruse through the menu because you were doing it on your phone, didn't you? And now we're like, oh, steak. Oh, I think it's going to be some sort of steak and steak themed dish. So, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is the beach house menu. And let's have a quick little look. Oh, wow. So it was explained just on the way in. As you can see, there are prices on some of these dishes. They're actually additional cost to what you pay when you book this restaurant. But you know, if you fancy it, you have to give it a go. You just have to try it. 
So I've already decided what I want based on the smell of the restaurant because it smells so good. I'm going to go for the crab, what they call to tosadillas. Tosadillas. And then for my main, I will have to pay extra for this, but it does sound really, really good. I'm going to go for the lava or salt block prime fillet steak with grilled prawn, king prawns. <laughs> if you got that, I hope you got that. But that's what I'm going to go for. I'm going for the, um, the island spiced chicken wings which sound really good. And then I'm going for the Hita Sizzlers. Ooh. I think we've had that before. I don't know, I don't know. No, we, I'll we give it a go. go. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go for the flat iron steak, which is an extra two pounds charge on top of it. Oh, thank you very much, thank you. Oh, wow. So our starters have arrived on the Gav. Um, and they look really, really good. So I went for these like Mexican things and Gavin's gone for these lovely, they look really nice as chicken. Maybe, maybe we should swap one each. Okay, let's do yeah, that. Yeah, we'll, we like to swap. We like to mix and match things, don't we? So this is your wing. Is that nice? Yeah. Quite good. That's really good. I'm glad you're happy. You've got like little uh, salad stick things here, like yeah, carrot and okay. cucumber. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. I'll give you... So I get that, and you can have one of these. Let's give you one of these. I haven't tried mine yet. Let, but, I'll try this now. Then. Oh, try yeah, go on then. Try, try mine first. Minus the, the mess. How's that? Fishy, but nice. Oh, good, because I do like fish. This is your chicken wing, yeah? That's really nice. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good. Mm, I like it. I'll try this one. Mm. So we had a really nice starter. Mine was absolutely delicious. It was tasty. But I will say this, I think what Gavin went for went better. was better. I'm not normally a fan of chicken wings, but it worked tonight. And those, he had this little croquette thing which had sweet corn and mac and cheese in it. It was absolutely incredible, wasn't it? it was, honestly, to be, to be fair, it was the highlight of me. I could have done with just a bowl of those. So yeah, so far so good. It was awesome. We're, ha we're, we're, we're really impressed with the beach house at the moment. So far so good. So I can't wait for my main. So our mains have arrived, Ta -da! Yeah. and I went for the salt rock. Um, what was it? Fillet steak. Oh, look at it, people! It's still sizz it's still sizzling. And Gavin went for the what? They look good. I mine and mine just sizzling plate as well. Do you have to make your own? Oh, so he has to make his own fajitas. That's very cool. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Wow. We're gonna tuck in. We're gonna tuck in our people. So they cut little bits and you cook them as you want them, are you? Uh, I don't mind, I don't mind, like, I'm more of a medium kind of person. So how is this? Um, I'd say it's rare. You need to put it on a bit longer, I'd say. No, what I could do is I could just go for that. It's like eating out of a frying pan, isn't it? <laughs> are these my chips, yeah? Yep. Oh, oh yeah. Looks perfect now. That does look really yeah. good. As a taste. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm nice. So, I've got to say, we just had a fantastic main course of the beach house that we It was really, really good. In fact, I'll go as far as saying it's the best meal I've had so far on the ship at this, on this cruise. What you? It was so nice, and on a lava rock thing, the salt rock, oh my god, it was hot, you could just chuck it back on, and it was really, really, oh, so full of flavour, it was delicious, the sauces, it was really good, how was yours? Really good, my I think it was really nice. So now, it is time for us to pick a pudding, but we know what we're going to go for, don't we, Gal? Yes, we're going to go for the, it's a sheer, it's a sheer in one. It's a marshmallow fondue syrup. That sounds delicious. No. So our pudding has arrived. <laughs> we have like, what do you call them? Cheer Cheerios? Marshmallows at the top Cheerios. on the skewer. Cheerios, strawberries, some sort of like little cake, like bakel cakes. We've got like a little bowl of sugar or chocolate fondue. Oh, it looks amazing. Right, we skewer that one off and put them in the chocolate fondue. 
Oh, oh yeah. I don't know if you want to cut that with a fork or do you want to cut it like in half? Yeah, I think you regret that, don't you? You've, uh, you've got loads more chocolate in there. I'm going to dip my, what do you call that? A churro. Churro, churro. I'm going to dip my churro in my chocolate. Was it Was it good? Yeah. Luke's gone straight for a churro. My favourite. What's happening? They're all falling off. <laughs> We have to save them quickly. <laughs> now I have to do what you did. Oh. <laughs> mm, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> So it's just a lovely meal at the beach house to eat. It was really, good. really good. Honestly, God, it was the best meal we've had so far on the trip, isn't it? It's been the best. Uh, now we're going to go see the pigeon party. We're going to see the crows and the beards, and they're all flying around on the roof, aren't they? And they're in the dome and the hat. So we're going to see them whizzing around on the ropes. So that's what we're going to do. There's an Easter egg in the middle of the, of the stage. The, the stage is over the pool there. We haven't seen this show before, have we? This is a whole new show for us. So yes, we are now at the Sky Dome and we're going to watch the pigeon at the party, aren't we? The, yeah. What they, what they call the show? What is it actually called? Rise. Rise. I keep calling it the pigeon party. I know what I mean, but you don't know what I mean. And this is it. Yes. And now we we're going to the pigeon party. What pigeon. was it called? The beards and the roof. Uh, yeah. Rise. Some rise, that's it. And it was weird, very it was weird. Like, yeah, but the thing was broken, so we didn't do it properly. Yeah. So now we're, so we're going to. We're like flopping around. So we're, we're going to head to the stop. clubhouse now to see rhinestone or something. Are we seeing Dolly? Yes, maybe. Who Let's go. I really hope we see Dolly. Oh, Jolie, 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 Jolie. Please don't take my because you can. Unfortunately, there was no dolly on tonight, but we still had a great night though. Hello, hi people. So we had a really, really good night. Though. Beach house was amazing. Beach house was really good. Beach then we house. Went to see Rise in the sky yeah. dome that was it was interesting Let's beach just say house that. i will say this was has actually been at this moment in time on the cruise the best meal we've had it was absolutely beautiful and then we went um, to see rise and then after that we went down to the clubhouse but rise was broken halfway through there was something wrong with the whole thing and they couldn't do the whole show so they stopped halfway through so it was cut short yeah. and then we went to the we went to the clubhouse a little boop, 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 a little party we saw the people they were doing country and western and now we have gone to the buffet and gavin has got some snacks oh, we've got, got some snacks don't say gavin's got snacks they're not all mine they're yours as well my my motto is small plate small waistline so you stack it higher. <laughs> <laughs> and fun fact, right, it's now, what time is it now? It's like how, how, one o'clock? It's come to one o'clock. And look outside the window. It's not even dark. That is not, this is one o'clock in the morning, people, at the Norwegian Fjords. If you liked the video, give it a like. A thumbs up. Yeah. Subscribe. Luke will put the link down And we will love you forever, ever and ever. And yes, goodbye, people. And we will see you tomorrow for Gavin's birthday celebrations. It's going to be one big party tomorrow. I'm 21 tomorrow. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching.